So, video attempt day three. Uh, 1992, Fulton County Stadium. Fernando Cabrera up to bat. Hits a liner between second and third. It goes into the outfield, around from second, called safe at the plate, Mr. Sid Bream. What's up, YouTube? You ever have one of those days where you go, how did this happen? How did I get here? I had that day two days ago. I made my video I was gonna, uh, on my mail day, and I said I was going to make this video. Well, apparently YouTube and my computer decided to team up against me and just go stupid. So for two days, I couldn't make a video. But uh, I got it now, and I wanted to tell you about uh, my Thursday where I spent the day with Sid Bream. Uh, and I know you ask, how did that happen? And that's what I, uh, I'm going to tell you. I know it won't show up too well, but there is Sid and I. And uh, the reason I spent the day with him, uh, where there is a men's Christian men's conference coming to Erie, and uh, I volunteered to be on the planning committee. I thought it'd be a great opportunity. I've never been a part of a, a men's conference. I've never been a part of a conference to kind of learn how to plan this stuff. And nobody else really was stepping up to the plate when it came to the promotions, and so I offered to do it. I, I do have a newfound love of promoting things and uh, public relations and media, marketing, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to learn, and uh, I've never really done much of it. So. Uh, so in the planning, we got down to the, this time, and the the conference is actually next Saturday. I, about a month ago, I thought, well, we're in spring training time, and uh, one of the speakers is Sid Bream, the Pirates, and we're in the pirate market, so why don't we see if he'll come up to Erie? And he agreed, and so I was able to, to book him um, to do the local television morning show um, to do a morning radio drive time show and an article for the newspaper so Sid agreed to leave Pittsburgh at four o'clock in the morning to make the two hour drive uh, two and a half hour drive to Erie to be on the air at quarter to seven uh, so I was really nice to him so he came up with his wife Michelle who just very nice lady I actually probably spent more time talking to her than him because he was busy doing the media stuff. Um, but they were just both incredible, incredibly nice. Just we're talking, and we actually and just kind of started opening up to each other. And um, he shared some stuff with me, and and I shared some stuff with him about our, where we are in our lives and everything else. And and I actually talked to him about our community. I talked to him about the autograph community. He kind of was talking about, you know, he didn't know uh, people, you know, really knowing him anymore, and he's getting up there in age and, and everything. And I told him that, you know, as far as our community goes, that um, when we, that he's one of the good guys, that we can know we can send off to him and, and he's going to sign. And uh, he's actually, he actually said he's signing more now than he did when he was a player. And um, and he 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 enjoys it. He doesn't mind it. And he's actually uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell this or not, but he's actually signing for tops. Um, so there's going to be like I think he said something like 800 cards in a product. So it might be have to do with the slide, maybe you know maybe Allen and Ginter, maybe something. Um, but he's yeah he's he, he does not mind signing. And uh, so, and actually, when we got done, I, I, and of course, I, I had to bring something to sign, and I, but I was trying to be professional, you know, and uh, I was talking to his wife about it earlier in the day, and she said, oh, if you have anything, he'll sign it for you, and I was like, yeah, I brought something just in case, but I wanted to be professional and wait till the end of the day, and ask. Um, and so when we were done with the newspaper article, which was the last thing of the day, his wife actually stopped him and said, Sid, Mike's got some stuff for you to sign. We got to stop and you got to sign it. <laughs> so, uh, 
So I didn't even have to ask. His wife handled it for me. So, but I did get uh, two things signed. The only things I really had around the house, which I realized I got to get more materials for um, for this coming baseball season. But I got my Pirates baseball that's already been signed by Jeff Karsten, Jose Tabata, Luis Silverio. Uh, last season, it's not showing, it's bleaching out. There, Mike McHenry. And so I had that, and so it's bleaching. There it is. So he signed it there, signed the ball. And then I had my 50 cent uh, pirate batting helmet, which I got at the thrift store, which was signed by McHenry. There. And Silverio, Tabata, Karstens. Greg Brown, the announcer, and he signed it right there. So I love it. 50 Cent Helmet. It's already got, what, six signatures on it? So can't beat that, you know? So yeah, and uh, I'm actually hoping to be working with him in the future. Um, I may be uh, trying to book him for some Salvation Army events. Um, so yeah guys you know um, he's a good guy so if you write to him just let him know that you know you appreciate the fact that he does sign for us and that he in the community he he's he's one of the good guys and that we do remember him um, and uh, so yeah that you too that's what I got maybe this will be getting me autograph of the week <laughs> you know I get to I get it for free but most importantly I, I got to spend the day with him so all right youtube that's all i got uh i finally got the video up and uh yeah i'll hopefully have a mail day up maybe tomorrow or monday or something i only got a couple of things so all right youtube peace